actually there was a period of time I nearly wanted to give up. I said that ah, forget about teaching. Hi, I'm Yao Ti. This is my school, ID College Central. ID has come a long way from when it was called a vocational and industrial training board, or the ID. We are now outside the School of Business and we will be going up to interview Mrs. Lo Kuang Ching, who has been in ID for a very long time. Hmm, how long? Let's find out. I joined IT in 1986, so by next year I would have served IT 30 years. Okay, when I actually left the bank, I applied to MOE again to rejoin MOE. But unfortunately, the policy of MOE at that time is that if you leave MOE and rejoin, they want you to do relief teaching first. And even if you do relief teaching, right, there's no promise that they will give you a job. So I decided, hey, why not I join VIT? And uh, there is a commercial department called a Commerce Department. And the Commerce Department offer accounting and they have my favourite subject, business law. So I tell myself, okay, this one, this job, I want it. And true enough, the moment I join, right, yes, the first subject I teach is business law and if that's my first love. Actually, there was a period of time I nearly wanted to give up. To say that, ah, forget about teaching. Uh, mainly because you start seeing a lot of students who are coming late not coming to school, uh, not motivated. Then one day I sat down and asked myself, so I said, when you join teaching, right, did anyone promise you that your students are going to be regular, punctual, well-behaved, motivated? Then I asked myself, go all the way back to the day when I attended the interview. Did anybody promise you that? Then my answer is, no. Your employer never promised you that when you join teaching, right, you will get all this kind of student, punctual, motivated, regular, so I asked myself, in that case, right, then why did I join teaching in the first place? So my answer is no. I joined teaching is because I want to share. Okay? I want to bring happiness to them. I do not want any student to hate a subject or hate the teacher. So when I thought about that, I said, okay, back to square one. Do you still love this job? Do you still have anything to share? Do you still like this job? My answer is yes. Okay, if I have to compare in the past, I have students who will tell me, right? Uh, the parents make it very clear, if you join ITE, you pay for your own school fees, you pay for everything, I will not support you. That's very, very negative. You are very, very negative. And the child says, okay, I will take care of it. So these are the, these are the people who really have to work part-time, you know, to really, because you have to self-support. The parents will say no entirely. But today's context, you know, how do I know whether the image has changed? I just have to look at the teachers. Good old days, some of the teachers, right, the moment they leave the campus, they will take, make sure they don't wear the lanyard or no one could ever see or identify them with teaching in IT. So you can really feel, even teachers themselves don't want to be. So that is a bad thing. Okay, but today, if I look at all the young teachers that join IT now, I can see that they are very proud to be part of this IT family. Uh, they talk very well about their students, they have done very well in all their projects. Then if you look at the campuses from outside, have you know, if I've noticed now, for example, especially College Central, a lot of members of public walk into our campus. Right? And they just mingle around with the students, they use our facilities, and a lot of them look at our premises, wow, wow, wow. Okay? So I think definitely the image of IT students have changed. Being in the teaching industry for more than 30 years, Mrs. Lowe has been given many prestigious awards for the amount of effort and dedication put into teaching her students. We believe that her commitment towards education is what makes her one of the most respected staff in ITE. And not only we salute her passion, we hope that she will continue to inspire other students just like how she has inspired us. Congrats Mrs Lowe!